Ranjan is a, a wonderful partner, customer of mine, and you know what I admire most about Vodafone is how they put the people in the middle of the entire HR process, and how they are relentless in making changes through technology, which is why I believe a lot of my success and the company's success really owes to what Vodafone have taught us in terms of change this, change that, tweak this, tweak that, and here we are as a as a as a as a product company. So. ID5 is India's fastest background verification provider. Speed plays a lot of plays a very important role in background verification. Why is that? Because when you hire somebody in India, the chances are that this person may be fraudulent. Um, and chances are meaning it, be, it could be as high as 10 or 15 percent that somebody is fraudulent. And if you discover it late, you probably lose a lot of money in that entire journey. And the entire management of this is actually quite cumbersome. So this thing probably deserves a bit of attention and Vodafone have entrusted this important responsibility to us. We are a, a technology platform at heart. I am very comfortable talking about technology and my entire background is that. And the whole company is actually full of people who are able to you know, relate to people and understand the use cases, develop technology product around it. And we are very quick in making changes to it as well. And we are highly automated. Whatever we do in terms of operations, we tend to use technology there as well. Because what you see as a customer, as a portal or a, or a technology platform, the back end of it is exactly, it's almost similar to the operations person as well. Only the screens are different. They work on different aspects. They make changes to your case, your profile. And this reflects at the customer's end. So let me relate this to what Vodafone's uh, philosophy is, which is about storage, automation, interaction, and insight. Starting off with storage. So how would you know if you are doing well if you're not really measuring what you're doing. And storage is at the heart of it. If you're storing what you're doing with people with regards to their background verification, for example, or interviews or talent management as another example, these things are helpful in understanding if you're doing well or not. And then you can, on the basis of the measurement, make more changes to it. So we believe the first part of the storage is actually digitization. We expect that the profile of the candidate is something which is entered by the candidate himself. So in this manner, you actually take away a lot of the owner's responsibility that at one point of time might have been with a Vodafone HR. This is something that's automated. The evidence and facts which are gathered are part of a digital history again. So that is stored as well. And then besides that, we categorize it. So we make sure that the candidates that are verified, we are able to therefore link them to various sort of categories and then are able to get metrics on that basis and automate and, and use that to measure ourselves. We also have audit. Why is that? Because if you have the profile digitized, and if you have the evidence there, at some point of time, if you are looking to find out um, you know, why this person is a red case, why this person has lied, why you shouldn't be hiring him, it shouldn't be a case where you have to see through paper documents kept in some sort of archive somewhere. You should be able to go to the technology, the platform, search for it, and then use that uh, uh, you know, data right there to audit yourselves or with the help of some external auditor. So that's the part about storage, which I think, you know, Ranjan alluded to earlier, which we believe also is at the core of our philosophy of background verification. Second part of it, uh, actually, this is, these are some screens, which are real screens that we have. It shows how it's a nice process where a candidate is invited. We move from the invite stage to different parts of awaiting input from the candidate himself in progress, insufficiency, and finally verified. And if you click on it, you can see the reports, etc., as well. So it's a nice, wonderful tool, which actually is used by about 27 circles of Vodafone. So they have organizations, uh, sub-organizations in Vodafone, which, has, which are all over India. And Ranjan's team, sitting in different parts of India, is able to look at their own sub-statistics, find out exactly what the hiring is in that, in that very area. And it's highly delegated. So Bhakti, who basically is our, our interaction point into Vodafone, she manages a team, uh, and she's got a, a lot of people who are spread out who have their own sub-areas that they can manage. So really, at, at some point of time, you don't need a background verification team per se. You can give a lot of that to your recruiters around who can actually manage the process in the different regions, and you can just oversee the fact by using this technology. Moving on to automation. So we believe automation is something you see in various aspects of, uh, uh, of, of this background verification journey. We, we see automation in the candidate journey itself. The fact that you as a candidate could actually log in using a LinkedIn ID, for example, means that you could 
actually draw out information you have already filled in somewhere else. You create your profile uh, at the point of uh, the start of the journey, you accept terms and conditions and you are also able to pick and choose different things and create your profile. What this helps is at some point of time nobody has to go to the joining day, go at the joining day and come up with a lot of documents, right? that part is gone completely. Nor is there anybody scanning documents, so that part is also gone. And the requesting of verification for this person is something which is also highly automated. So the HR person in Vodafone that is requesting verification actually goes through the screen, picks up the things that they would like to verify or they could just create sort of classes for it and they could say, well, for all managers in this region, I'd like to ver verify these things. So they pick and choose those items and they request verification and that goes ahead, right? And automation is something we also have at the ground level with, with our field force. So you'll have a lot of people who are verifying addresses at, at ID5 who are actually our field agents. And they are located all over India. We've given them phones and apps. And in the app, they've got this sort of look and feel. It's a real app that you see here. And inside the app, we've given them a, given them a chance to sort of look at any uh, task that's given to them. Um, for example, let's say you're verifying something in Bandra. You're, you're in Bandra, as you know. And the closest runner in Bandra would have an app. And the request for address verification would go into his app. And he would then go to the location, take a picture of the building, go inside, take a picture of the, of the person's documents, and geotag it. And when you hit submit, it comes straight to the platform and Ranjan's team can see it. So that journey of address verification is something we've been able to shorten down to a single day all over India. So that's something which uh, we believe is the power of automation. And it wouldn't have been possible if it was just Excel sheets or documents being passed around or phone calls being used for it. The other part of automation is if you have this kind of journey, it means that people who are ro roaming around India uh, using an app, you can actually trust them because they may be lying to you otherwise. They may be saying, look, I went there and I verified them. How do you know? It's only if you have something which is concretely geotagging them, then you know that they have been to the location. That evidence is also auditable thereafter. So that's something that is an important aspect of automation. 